Okay, I will show you how to check car ignition coil via connection uh, with multimeter and without multimeter. Firstly, you remove this ignition coil via connector and uh, turn key on position your car. Okay, now is key uh, on position and uh, select your multimeter. Uh, DC voltage range. Firstly, I uh, connect this multimeter black probe on center wire and other red probe is right side. There was a 12 volt and I connect red probe on uh, left side. There was a no voltage. Uh, right side has a 12 volt and left side uh no voltage uh, then we guess uh, then we can guess center wire is car uh, minus voltage and left side is car uh, plus voltage supply voltage uh, and uh, uh, left side is uh, ignition coil trigger wire i will show you how to check this connection without multimeter this way i use this 3 volt LED and I connect uh, 1 kilo ohm resistor for uh, this LED plus pin and uh, this was a LED minus pin and I connect this LED on this connector the LED was turned on uh, this way we can check without multimeter by LED uh, the LED minus uh, pin was connect uh, this connector center wire and uh, plus uh, pin was connect uh, the, uh, right side uh, then we can uh, find wire connection without multimeter by LED uh, okay now we find this wire connector uh, wire connection uh, center was a car uh, minus voltage a battery minus voltage and uh, left side was a uh, supply voltage 12 voltage and uh, uh, sorry right side and left side was a uh, this uh, coil trigger wire that's it okay now we find the uh, wire connection for this ignition coil uh, let's see how to check this ignition coil correct way uh, i see so many videos on youtube uh, check this ignition coils uh, by their videos but all of these videos they use cor uh, wrong way uh, to check this ignition coil i will show you how to uh, check this ignition coil correct way I saw so many videos uh, on YouTube they give this trigger pin direct 12 volt from battery that was damage your car coil uh, because this uh, coil has a uh, internal MOSFET inside this coil uh, that uh, uh, that this coil trigger by that uh, uh, internal MOSFET gate pin by the, this uh, this first pin uh, the, then we give a 12 volt direct supply for this trigger wire that was damaged your uh, car uh, coil. Uh, th th then I will show you how to uh, check correct way without damage your uh, coil correct way. Firstly, I connect this uh, female connector for check this coil. Uh, I connect this coil. Uh, uh, this uh, right side pin for this battery uh, plus voltage pin this brown uh, brown wire is uh, uh, fro uh, coming from this battery uh, plus uh, uh, plus pin and uh, the center wire connect by this battery uh, minus voltage pin uh, this blue wire uh, coming from this battery uh, minus pin and I connect the center wire uh, the coil center wire for this battery minus pin and i connect this alligator pin for this um, battery minus pin uh, and i connect this uh, trigger wire uh, this 2.2 uh, kilo ohm resistor uh, this resistor is uh, very important to check this coil because uh, uh, with uh, check this coil uh, without damage uh, I saw, saw so many videos they uh, trigger this wire 
direct 12 volt that was damage your ignition coil uh, i connect this uh, uh, trigger wire 2.2 uh, kilo ohm resistor and i use this resistor for trigger this coil okay let's see how to check this uh, coil is on working condition uh, firstly i uh, put this ignition coil or uh, this coil inside and i connect this alligator pin for this ignition uh, plug uh, body and uh, i trigger this coil by this uh, 2.2k resistor That's it. Uh, that way is the uh, correct way for check these ignition coils uh, without damage your car ignition. Uh, okay. Thanks for watching.